Hi there, I'm Andy and welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I will show you how to store your NFTs directly in the Ledger Live app or within an account that's directly in the Ledger Live rather than one connected to the MetaMask. If you find those videos helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Also, please do check out the community section. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to set up a Ledger protected account within a MetaMask. I also created another video where I showed you how to move NFTs from OpenSea or from your normal MetaMask account to that Ledger protected account. However, someone did ask a very good question. Can you just simply store NFTs in Ledger Live app rather than setting up an account in MetaMask, Ledger protected account in MetaMask? And yes, of course you can. There's in fact an article on Ledger's website, how you can do this and how you can manage NFTs in Ledger Live. I'll put a link to this article in the description. And also, you need to check out this article here about enabling blind signing in the Ethereum app in Ledger. This is something you will have to do manually. Here it's shown with Ledger um, Nano S, but it's exactly the same with Ledger Nano X. Well, the buttons, of course, are different, but the principle is exactly the same. Uh, it's really straightforward, but please do read this article. It's quite important. Okay, so first of all, we need Ledger Live. And as you can see here, I have one of my Ethereum accounts set up here, and I already have one NFT visible in this, in this account. So what I really like about doing this within the Ledger Live app, that I can actually see my NFT. You might remember from my previous video, if you watched it, that if you have NFTs in, the, in MetaMask, as in, in Ledger account within MetaMask, you just see them as tokens, so you don't actually see which NFT it is exactly. Well, here straight away, I can see which NFT from this particular collection I, I have in this wallet. So if I want to send another NFT to this, to this wallet, I simply click on Receive NFT. Of course, there is a warning that I can only send ETH or Ethereum tokens, or in this case, ETH Ethereum NFTs to, uh, to this account, which makes sense because it's on Ethereum network. Click continue. And my ledger has disconnected, so I shall reconnect it. Okay, perfect. So here is my Ethereum address and I have to check on the, on the ledger itself whether that's the correct address. I have to verify it. If I'm happy with it, I will up Prove it. Before that, I should probably copy it. Okay. So I verified this address. I copied it. So now I just simply go to my OpenSea, click transfer. Sign. Enter this address. Always please double and triple check whether it's a correct address you're sending it to, because as you know, once you send it, it's, it's gone. You cannot revert that transaction, so make sure that you're actually sending it to yourself, especially that if you're sending it to, to your ledger, it's probably something quite valuable. In this case, it's just a relatively cheap NFT because it's just for sort of testing purposes. So yeah, I'm sending Apes in the World token, standard gas fee to pay, that's absolutely fine. Confirm. Okay, so the transfer is now complete. And if I go back to my Ledger Live app, if I scroll down, as you can see now, I can see actually the other NFT. And since I have two NFTs in this collection, if I click on it, I can now see both of them. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So basically I don't have to set up now my Ledger account within MetaMask, which is of course one way of doing it. I just simply take that account address and just send directly from MetaMask to, to Ledger Live app. And then of course, from Ledger, I can send those NFTs back to, to my MetaMask or to someone else. I can do whatever I want with them. Please do bear in mind though, that you have to enable blind signing in order to be able to send NFTs out of your wallet and manage them within your wallet. So yeah, it's really, really simple. It's very similar to, to what I showed in the previous video, but yeah, just slightly different way of, um, of managing your NFTs and storing your NFTs. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. If it was, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. As always, if you have any 
questions or comments, please put them in the comment section. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.